This week, we will be cruising Phoenix College in a 1920 Ford Model T touring car, generously loaned and driven by my new friend, 1964 PC alumnus, Harry Tolliver. Phoenix College launched in 1920 with its first classes in a sheet metal shop on Phoenix Union High School's campus. There is no better mode of travel around PC than a car some of our first students used to get to class. The American-built Model T is Ford's universal car that put the world on wheels. It is nicknamed the Teen Lizzy and has 20 horsepower, four cylinders, and transmission bands like a modern automatic instead of gears and clutches. With its three pedals and left-hand car brake, you need to be practically ambidextrous to drive the Model T, as it takes both feet and hands to keep it humming. Likewise, the students and staff had to be flexible as PC moved locations three times before settling where we are today, Thomas and 11th Avenue in 1939. I'll be the only one jumping out of this tour because Henry Ford didn't think the driver needed to get out often, so there's no door on the driver's side. Let's get cranking. Hello and welcome to Birapalooza. I'm Oscar de las Salas and I used to attend Phoenix College a long time ago. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. But because of the current situation, Phoenix College is not able to have an open house for alumni and new students as it was planned. Therefore, we thought the best way was just to create a virtual tour, one that you can check online actually if you miss any of these chapters. Right now, I'm in front of the Hanley Center, which is the one-stop enrollment center for all new students. This is a tour of all the campus and most of the wonderful buildings that are part of Phoenix College campus. And for that, we have a beautiful surprise. We have one of the alumni of Phoenix College, Harry Tolliver, and his 1920 Ford Model T joining us today. But he also brought with him his mechanic, Craig Leach, just in case something happens. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Doing great. Very good. Are we going to go out for a tour? We can. Let me put my mask on. So let's go. It's great to be on campus. I'm looking forward to seeing the iconic campus buildings and some of the new buildings. On the right is the A building, which as you can see is being renovated. And right next to it is the B building. These buildings along Thomas Road were the first facilities built on the PC campus in 1938 and 1939. Ahead of us, you can see the physical science building which was fully renovated in 2019 with state-of-the-art science labs. Arizona's family chief meteorologist and PC alumnus, Royal Norman, spoke at the grand reopening ceremony. When I first moved to Phoenix, I had to take the bus. Back then, buses didn't run every hour on the hour like today, and there was no light rail, so I had to walk. Can you imagine on a three-piece suit made out of linen walking through Thomas at 110 degrees just to come to school. Coming up on our left is the Noble Engineering and Science Building. As we drive up 11th Avenue, we enter the historic Willow neighborhood. This was one of Phoenix's first suburbs in the 1920s. Many community and business leaders have attended Phoenix College. Phoenix Mayor Kay Gallego took accounting classes at PC. City of Phoenix Fire Chief Cara Kalkbrenner completed her associate's degree right here at PC. And City of Phoenix Councilwoman Laura Pastor is a PC alumna. As we drive back onto campus, we see the Dalby building on the right. One of the things I love about the PC campus is the juxtaposition of the historic buildings and the modern architecture. On the left is the PC administration building and up ahead of us is the Fanning Library. Since we're here at the library, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Because I used to work really late in my office and take night classes, I wasn't able to return the books right on time. So every time I was late, you have no idea how much I paid in late fees.
Thank you so much for the ride. Thanks. So here we are in front of the Fanning Library. This is a very important building in the campus, not only because it hosts the library, but because it also hosts the IT desk and the learning commons. This building is part of the Grand Campus of Phoenix College. Now, this is the end of this installment. If you have missed any of them, you can see them all online by visiting phoenixcollege.edu backslash 100. Well, I think it is time for me to go pick up one of my books, even within the times of computers, iPads, and cell phones, I do still read books printed on paper. I'll see you guys soon. Visit phoenixcollege.edu backslash 100 to see a list of Vera Palooza virtual activities and events.